In The Witcher 2, we missed only the freedom of the exploration, this fresh breath of the players, because they was put into the story and they couldn't, you know, just run away and do something else. And now players can, you know, explore the world how they want to and they can explore the story how they want to. Everyone likes open world games. We should go this way. In The Witcher 3, we are introducing new gameplay mechanics. It's called monster hunting. I want the player to feel like Witcher is special, more like dancing, his movements are extraordinary, they're, they're different. In The Witcher 2, we have dabbled a lot in the big politics. This time the story will be more personal, it will involve what Geralt wants. But we do have this threat. It's both a threat, I think, to call it the human race. At the same time, it's a personal nemesis for Geralt, a threat to Geralt and his loved ones. It's really difficult to achieve numbers like some of our grand competition like Dragon Age, French, Skyrim, whatnot. And, you know, we always had ambitions not only to be, you know, at the top level in terms of quality of development, but also to be independent. It's very important for us. We do not really want to have, uh, you know, a producer from company XYZ sitting here and telling us, okay, Geralt, you know, gray hair, that sucks. The only people who should tell us how the game should look like should be consumers. And we can promise that we work very, very hard to make this game as you know, great as we can and it's very important for us because, you know, this is, you know, conclusion of the trilogy and this is very, very important for us. This is, you know, part of our lives.